Hello YouTube! Welcome to Daily Space Observations, bringing you your daily dose of space. So, today I'm going to do a little tutorial on, on how to assemble and align the finder scope of the Celestron on Travel Scope 70. Now these now these pieces here are are all pieces of the finder scope. Now it did not come this pre it didn't come it in all the these pieces. I just thought for her the sake of this video I take the um apart and show you how to assemble it back and what they do. So Without further uh, ado, let's jump straight in to it. So, the first thing you'll need is this big tube here, or not so big, but the biggest piece in the set is this small tube. And so what you want to do is take this little whole piece here and just slide it into this side of the tube. Then you want to take this cross-haired eye, eye piece. It's not really an eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so what this tiny eye piece does is this actually puts in the crosshair. So see here, look. If you look closely, there is in fact there is in fact a crosshair in here, or a cross of like two wires. You may not see it, but it is there. So you want to screw that. Oh, wrong, wrong side. You want to screw that into not this part, but this part here. And now, finally, the top eyepiece. Now, what this eyepiece does is pretty much allows you to use the, the finder scope properly and for it to properly see objects and, up, and upside down, too. So, all you want to do is slide it like this. And there you go. You have... The finder scope. Now, the next part of the video with will be attaching it to the telescope and aligning it. So, let's go. All right. So now that the finder scope is is fully assembled, let me show you how to attach it to the telescope. So. The finder scope comes with this holder here, so you just want to, so there are two, there are two small screws here, and you want to just put the holder onto both of them. Then, you want to slide the finder scope in, the crosshair part first. Then you want to tighten it so that it stays in this, the, uh, the grip. And now that is, and now that it is secure, I have, I have two screws here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to having a little trouble. I'm going to place this screw right here on top of the line or knob. Then I just turn it. I like to do that that way because it's fun and quick. So I turn it and I tighten it. Then I do the same for the other side. And 
And now the finder scope has been fully assembled and attached to the telescope. So now what so now the final thing that had you want to do with the finder scope when you're just getting it is to see if it's aligned. So quick testing. I'm going to look in. And the crosshair is it is crooked in the telescope. But that is okay because all you need to do is turn this knob here and it tilts the crosshair so it is perfectly aligned with your image. So, for an example, I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's not aligned. I'm just gonna turn it. And there we go. That is how to to align a crosshair fine finger scope. I hope you've enjoyed this vi video and this tutorial on on how to assemble and align a crosshair finder scope. And I will see you in my next vi video. See you later.